Welcome back to this tutorial. Let's go through a short history behind blockchain. So the underlying theme of blockchain is not a new concept. In fact, it has been inspired from the famous timestamp based ordering algorithms of the 90s, which were used to prevent the tempering of documents. And the same theme has been extended for the purpose of ledgers and transactions in order to facilitate secured payment mechanisms. So as we have discussed, blockchain was invented in a paper published by Satoshi Nakamoto in the year 2008. Since then, various programmers, uh, cryptographers and scientists have worked on this concept of blockchain to produce a cryptocurrency network called the Bitcoin. The major design goal and the purpose of the blockchain was to solve two major problems. The first is to solve the double spending problem and second is to eliminate the need of central trusted third party. Let's go through both of them and try to understand what those problems were. First we will go through the double spending problem. Let's assume we have a person called Alice and Alice has $5 in her balance. Now we will be assuming that we are talking about a distributed system wherein there are various machines and nodes which will be having the copy of the balance of Alice. Now let's say Alice decides to transfer $5 to Bob. So we will have a conventional ledger entry like Alice transfers $5 to Bob. Now let's say since we are talking about a distributed system, we will not be sure the order in which a particular ledger is being transmitted and confirmed by the participant of the distributed network. Now let's say before the ledger is received by and confirmed by each and every participant of the network, our attacker sends a fraudulent data that Alice is having $5 transaction with Tom to the rest of the network. In such case, once again, we won't be sure the order in which the ledgers are being received at the other end. In such case, it may happen that $5 are being spent twice. So this is a classical example of the double spending problem, which is a very common thing in any of the transaction management system. One of the design goal of blockchain was to prevent such double spending being happening in the system. Next is the need of trusted third party. One of the major design goal of the blockchain is to eliminate the need of trusted third party. Now in any conventional payment system, we have a mediator or a third party which mediates the transaction of money between two parties. Let's say for example, a bank. In this case, Alice once again wants to transfer $5 to Bob. Now the bank being acting as a third party mediator will have to create two entries. One will be the debit entry for the Alice and one will be the credit entry for the Bob. So in this case, we require a trusted third party to have a transaction between two parties. So the uh, Satoshi Nakamoto's paper revolves around these three things. First is the purpose was to create a P2P cryptographic uh, payment system which solves both of the problems, that is the double spending problem and to eliminate the need of central trusted third party as a trust agent, which confirms the transactions. So we will see in the upcoming videos, how both of these design goals are served by the algorithm of blockchain. And we will see how both of these issues are not a problem in the current system. So the, this concept of blockchain is also extended as the distributed ledger technology 
and is also used in other applications beside cryptocurrencies as we have discussed. So in the next video, we will go through some basics of blockchain. Thank you.